Hey everyone, so in this video I want to show you how the grab actor, or more accurately the grab component, which we have C grab component here, works compared to the default template which ships with Unreal. Um, it's been slightly modified to work with a bunch of different actors. So by default, when you attach an actor and you want to grab something, we can create a grab component. So let's say I open up this gun. Uh, why aren't we selecting the gun? Let's go to Actors, Interactables. Uh, where's my weapons? There they are. Actor weapons. Bit more fun. So in here we've got our skeletal mesh and then we have a grab component. This is set up the same way as the default template. So you got skeletal mesh. As long as it has collision and the skeletal mesh is set to do 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 object type VR interactable, you'll be able to pick it up. Uh, we have a custom collision channel for the object type due to the capsule, player, capsule around the player. So we don't interact with ourselves and kind of mess it up. So all you have to do is change your mesh type, mesh collision type to the object type VR interactable, and then just add the grab component. If it's a, an item that you're gonna pick up and it's gonna move around the world, then you just want to change the grab type to snap. And in this case, because it's a two-handed weapon, we do also have the hold item and enable two-handed grabbing options ticked. Everything else you don't really need to touch. To be fair, I could probably make those private. And for anything that's not interactable or not movable, so let's take the cubes for example, we can open this up, there's no other code, and then you see we've just got hold item because we don't need two-hand grabbing for this. The grab type is set to free, whereas the weapons is set to snap. So snap actually moves the object to a specific location, whereas the free kind of keeps it wherever it was when you grab. So if your hand's away from it, it would be further away from the motion controller. But then we also have a third option, which I could probably do with renaming actually. And you'll see here that we actually use the grab component for these interactables as well. So if we open up this crank valve, actually we do the, oh, up, 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 up. we're lagging. If we select the switch lever, we open this up, you'll see that we've got our grab component. But the difference for this one is our grab type is set to none. So what essentially none does is it makes sure physics is disabled on anything we're grabbing. So all it does is really passes our motion control from our player to the actor. So we can fire the first hand grabbed, which is set up through here. So you can see we've got first hand grabbed, first hand dropped, second hand grabbed, second hand released. I could do with the rename of that dropped. But what they do is they allow you to pass information through and then call more code to do what you need to do. So if something's gonna be physics based and you're gonna pick it up and interact with it, then snap is what you want. So snap and custom, or free and snap. And then if it's something like these ones on the wall where they're gonna just exist and you wanna grab them anyway, you want that motion control information to pass through, you just need to make sure they're set to none. And then that would feed that information through to it as well. So that's pretty much it. So if it's set to none, for example, these, what you can do is Pull the information in and then get the hand and then fight your code. So hopefully that wasn't just too much of a mess, but it's pretty much exactly the same. I try to keep it as simple as possible. So you take a mesh or a scale mesh, you add a grab component, set it to snap or free. And then if it doesn't need to be interacted with like a weapon or something you're gonna pick up and grab, then you set it to none and you'll be able to go through and actually interact with it that way without pulling it off the wall. Cool. So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.